Hey everyone, welcome back. This is my review of Gundam Build Fighters Tri Episode 4. I know this is usually the one I do first on Wednesdays. I'm doing this on Thursday. I'm sorry. Uh, like I said before, I have a lot to catch up on. <laughs> so, anyways, well, actually, after this, I think there's just one more from yesterday. Then I'll be all cut up. But, anyways, though, this week's episode of Gundam Build Fighters Tri was so fucking awesome as always. Seriously, this series is so fucking good. And one thing I've no kind of noticed watching these four episodes is that it doesn't really seem you like you have to watch season one to understand season two completely, like to enjoy it, okay? Granted, it'll definitely help to understand a lot of the inside jokes and stuff, you know? But really, they're funny even if you don't understand where they came from. And overall, I think it's enjoyable even if you haven't watched the first season, which is really good, you know, because obviously you're just a completely new cast of main characters, so you don't have to watch season one to like the... To, to to like the characters because these weren't the characters that were built up and built up and developed in season one, you know. So I just thought I'd mention that in the beginning of this review here. But this episode alone was really fucking awesome, and it starts out with a really epic battle between uh, Sekai and R Rawl, in which it looks like that Se Sekai is going to win at first, but then Rawl completely turns it around by changing the terrain from I forget what it was at first but somewhere on the ground, to space. And what Sekai realizes in this battle is that, you know, at first he was using his, uh, basically his martial arts with his Gundam to basically pwn Mr. Rawl. However, when it was changed to space, he couldn't do that because he couldn't get his footing. So what he realized and what Mr. Rawl told him and he finally realized was true is that he needs to not only be able to adapt to different terrains with his martial arts, but also be, but also use it with different types of Gundam in order to be able to help Team Tri Fighters win the championship. Okay, or else it's just not going to fly. And I really think that before the championship, that's what the majority of his battles are going to be building up to. He also kind of clues in on this later later on in the episode when he he's fighting all these kids at this sh at this gun gunpla shop after after the uh, clerk helps him build his own SD, gun SD Gundam, okay? And, but then this other douchebag of the century named Sakai, I believe, ends up coming and challenging him with a, his own personal SD Gundam, and the way he creates this Gundam right on the spot is just fucking ridiculous. It's completely anime style, but it's completely fucking awesome as well. He literally just opens up the box, throws all the pieces up in the fucking air, okay? and puts them together like in like 10 seconds flat okay and then of course he battles with it and he kicks Sekai's ass <laughs> okay and what he realized here is that the SD Gundams are actually able to morph okay they can change into whole all sorts of different things, which is probably why he prefers the SD Gundams. And they sound pretty fucking, look pretty fucking awesome. I mean, they are obviously chibi-fied, because even though I haven't seen it, I believe the SD Gundam was actually a chibi-fied series, at least in terms of the Gundams in there, but despite their looks, they are really fucking badass, okay? And that's kind of when Sekai clues into, once again, the fact that he needs to be able to adapt his gun plus skills to different types of Gundam not only different types of trains. So that's kind of, those two battles are definitely, like they definitely had some comedic value to them, but they're de still integral to the story and Sekai's character development overall. Okay. Also, there were so lots of other really funny scenes in this episode. Okay. Uh, there was this moment when uh, Hoshino and Sekai were basically going on a date in this episode. At least that's what's, they called it, although it wasn't really a date, they were just going to this Gunpla store to find some new Gunpla, okay, and Sekai tells his sister this, and he doesn't even know what a fucking date is. Really? Okay. So, yeah. He doesn't know what a date is, and so then he goes on this date, and his sister is constantly fucking spying on them to make sure that they're not doing anything that they shouldn't be doing. And I don't see how they don't fucking see her, or detect her, because she's just wearing fucking sunglasses, okay? Not to mention the time when she's basically banging on the back of that bear's head, on that uh, 
stuff bear's head and making the children look at her and just go, what the fuck's up with this woman? You know what I mean? It's just, like really weird. And then you shows up when she enters the gun plus door and because she, and you know obviously wondering why she's there and obviously because she doesn't want you to run into uh, Sekai and Hoshino and tell them that she's there, she actually proceeds to go out on a date with him, which obviously because you is complete has completely fallen in that Head over heels for her, you know, love at first sight. He's completely fucking willing to do this, even though it's obviously just a ploy, just a ploy so that, so that uh, she doesn't get found out there. Now, at least so far it is. Later on, they might go for a, romant a more romantic approach for them, I don't know, but, and th here's the thing. I originally thought they were going to have, like, you and Hoshino be the ones that fall in love, but apparently it's, it seems more like now it's going to be a set guy in Hoshino, you know what I mean? And it would make more sense that way in a, if you think about it a certain way, because those are the two main characters, you know, but still. So yeah, so overall, I thought this was a fantastic episode of Gundam Build Fighters Try. Like always, I really can't come up, can't detect most of the uh, references to other Gundam series in here because I haven't seen them, so it's kind of impossible. But either... But despite that, I really love this episode. The action was so fucking good. And like I said before, even though the two fight major fight scenes in this episode were... Or the two major battles in this episode were humorous to a certain extent, they also had major story relevance because they helped Sekai realize that, you know, it's okay if he wants to use his, basically his martial arts with his Gundam, but that's not all he has to focus on. He has to focus on adapting that to not only different terrains, but also different Gundams in general. And like I said before, before, before we actually get to the championship, I really feel that's what he's going to have to do, and that's what the majority of, if not all of the battles that he's involved in later in the future, at least up until the championship, which could happen in the series, could not, but either way, uh, will have to be focused on training him in that regard. So anyways, if you have yet to see this week's episode of Gundam Build Fighters Try, then I definitely recommend that you do. I thought it was awesome. I cannot wait for next week's episode. So anyways, overall, hope you enjoyed this review, guys. See you guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.